Welcome to Tom's Aviation. Enjoy this next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share. Welcome to Tom's Aviation. We are here with Tim from Honda. What is it that you do here, Tim? And talk a little bit about this incredible jet. So I'm with Honda Aircraft Company and we produce the mock-up you see behind here. It's actually an aircraft that we build in Greensboro, North Carolina. We brought it to the show this year to really kind of round out Honda's package of mobility solutions for the consumers. And uh, it's been really well accepted for the first couple of days. That's fantastic. Tim, can you tell us a little bit about your role at Honda? So I am the global events manager. I go to auto shows and air shows around the world. Um, we sell the aircraft in roughly five different continents right now. Um, we have 226 airplanes that have been delivered, uh, as I said, with a built-in in the U.S., all designed and built by Honda Aircraft. And uh, it's just a, it's a great opportunity to put the aircraft in front of a lot of different uh, people here at the Chicago Auto Show. Absolutely. And you mentioned earlier there is an Elite One. So what's the difference between the two? What's the upgrade? So this aircraft was just introduced last month. Uh, we started deliveries in the U.S. and four so far. Uh, it has an extended range uh, over the last version. Uh, so we're out to 1,547 nautical miles. Uh, flies at 422 knots, 43,000 feet. So you're up in a very uh, quiet, calm space up there where you're not uh, fighting for uh, a position with other aircraft and commercial traffic. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, great. Maybe we'll take a look inside. Yeah, absolutely. Tim, do you have any more specs on the Honda Jet Elite 2? We do. We actually have added ground spoilers to the wings, which improves the landing performance. And we've added auto throttles to the cockpit along with an emergency auto land system, which will be autonomous and a, a great safety feature in the future. Wonderful. Incredible. Tina, would you like to take a look inside? I would. Thank you, Tim. Let's do that. <laughs> we're inside this incredible Honda Jet Elite 2. Tim, can you tell us what we're experiencing right now? Yeah, so what we're in is, is the main cabin. And uh, so it's a club configuration with four seats. The Elite 2 has a new pivoting seat that spins around. And what that does for the owners is allow larger passengers to move in and out more easily. Um, and it, it also just is a, a very uh, nice mechanism that you can add to the seats. Uh, the rest of the seats basically have a gimbal mount, which allows you to move around and get to a comfort position. Um, once you move forward, you've got a recline feature as well. We have a lav behind us, and unique to a smaller craft like this is you have actual doors that close and give you total privacy inside, along with a couple of skylights. It has a flushing toilet, which is serviced from the exterior, just like the large aircraft. Again, uh, very unusual for a, a VLJ, a, a very light jet. Uh, this aircraft has all LED lighting as well as a whole new interior package. We've upgraded the leather seats and uh, we've put a hard uh, floor surface in the center, again, just to keep the aircraft much more comfortable uh, for and, and easier to maintain uh, as people are coming and going. It, it just keeps makes, makes for maintenance, uh, reducing maintenance for the owners. Tim, can you tell us a little bit more about the other features of this air? aircraft? Sure, Tina. We've also got a, a table on, on both sides which allow for the occupants to raise it up and you have a nice solid platform for your laptop or uh, for your uh, drinks. Also drink holders on the side. Um, with a little flip up on either side you've got a control panel which allows you to control your lighting, your window shades, the temperature control. even allows you to shoot a text up to the cockpit as well so you can communicate with the pilot. Uh, Can tell me a little bit about the construction of the aircraft? Yeah, the aircraft is a composite construction, uh, so the entire hull is built out of carbon. Uh, the wings are aluminum, the empennage, the up and vertical and horizontals are both uh, aluminum as well. Fantastic. So we are in the cockpit of this amazing Honda Jet Elite 2. Tim, tell us a little bit about what we are looking at. <laughs> 
You know, what we have here is a Garmin G3000. It's a glass cockpit. These are not a touch screen, but here you have touch control modules that allow you to basically go through and monitor all of the systems on the aircraft. So for instance, if we wanted to take a look at how the batteries are doing, we can pull that up and all of the information is integrated for the entire aircraft and controlled from this location. We also have start buttons. So when you're ready to get the aircraft uh, moving, you basically touch the, the first start button, engines come on under power, and then you start the second engine and you're, you're ready to set course and off you go. Great. You mentioned something about a single pilot certification. So the unique thing about the Honda Jet is you have space for eight total passengers on board, but one of those is the pilot, single pilot, and uh, that allows you to put seven passengers on board as well. So it gives you maximum capacity, uh, also very uh, simple aircraft to operate. And again, with the Garmin system, whether we're talking about checklists or monitoring systems, talking to ATC, this is where it all happens. That's incredible. What a treat, Tim. Thank you so much. You're welcome. In the new system, you can put the pilot's weight in, the co-pilot's weight in, and then each seat location. And what's kind of cool about that is it starts to paint the envelope here so that as you're looking at fuel, you know, if you're in or outside of your limits. So Tina, one of the, the other really nice features of the Garmin G3000 is, aside from the touch control modules, if you get into turbulent air, uh, you also have the tactile controls here, which allow you to basically move through the different screens and control the aircraft, again, without uh, you know, any unusual requirements. Okay. Well, so our, our order book is, is full and under current production. We're probably going to be, if you ordered today, you'd be looking at fourth quarter of 26. Wow. So, okay. Okay. and with the way aircraft are purchased, typically somebody is coming out of an, a plane, mm -hmm. whether it's older, or smaller, um, and as they start to plan for that with us in a week of air um, sim time, and then they do a type rating of uh, their flight. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. I'm sure you guys usually can offer a list of pilots for people too? Yeah, we do. Um, actually, if uh, anybody is, is, is looking, like when they come in, they'll say, hey, um, I I'm gonna buy the plane, I'm not a pilot, I don't, I don't intend to be one, um, can you help me? And we'll, we'll actually connect them, them and great. we'll find a, uh, a qualified pilot, somebody that can move right into the aircraft. So, and they do annuals, so our guys will come in. So, if, once you're type rated, typically you want to keep your your currency. So, you have to do a recurrent training where you'll come in for a couple of days, and they'll talk about any updates. So, you might have been flying a classic or an elite. Now that the elite two's out. Um, they'll be versed on how to use the, the ground spoilers, when to deploy, when to, you know, they'll be told about the new software updates mm -hmm. with uh, weight and balance and how to check your um, fuel loads and any other modifications that we make along the way. Great. Oh, thank you, Tim.